How you doing guys? Your Uncle Steve here from Forsakenly Departed and good to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. I always say on my uh, monthly newsletter that gives the updates of my website, go down that lonely road you pass every day because you never know what's down there. Well, I'm walking along a lonely road right now and this road has a lot of history. This road was an old neighborhood or barracks for people that worked at the Nike missile bases. Now, I don't know if there's anything left on this road, but we're gonna walk the entire length. It's not very long, maybe a mile or so, and see if we can find anything. I'd like you to come along with me, so stick around and let's see what we can find, all right? Come on. Let me just give you a little history behind the road that was developed with about, nah, I'd say about a dozen houses or so during the Cold War, just yonder where there's a whole bunch of uh, condominiums. They were built the United States Army rings of the Nike missiles. The bases were intended to defend us against enemy aerial attack. The Nike system was an integrated network of radar guided anti-aircraft missiles. They were designed to locate, track, and destroy squadrons of enemy bombers. This area considered the NL-80L. I uh, don't know what that means. Uh, each uh, Nike missile base has a number like that. If anybody knows what they mean, what they stand for, please make a comment down below. I'd love to know what that means. But anyway, this one was considered one of the largest in the U.S. And from 1954 to 1974, it was an operation and 24 hours a day for 20 years. The New York, New Jersey area was protected um, and the skies were being watched. Um, but, uh, hell, those are uh, nice dogwood trees over there. But uh, let's take a look around and uh, hopefully we'll find something. We've got a little turn around here. This is a dead end road. It must have been a nice street in its day. Quiet dead end street. And then everything uh, developers just built around it. Another light. These are old lights. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in there without. Obviously, teens have been hanging out here. Let's have a good time. Let's get back on the road here. Or this little driveway path see what's down here there's a shed something let's take a look and see what's inside Nothing. Some nice graffiti. A shoe. Looks like it was a uh, dugout. Wondering if there was a ball field or something.
Ah, what's this? It's Borden is shaking, trying to get under the vines here. It's <laughs> basketball, anyone? Maybe that's what that uh, little shit is for. They hung out. God, it's all so overgrown. You can see the lines, the foul line. All right, well, that's something. Center court. And the other end. Pretty cool. here I'm on a pavement so it's like this is a driveway or something and see party animals Uh, this is a telephone pole here. This was the light. It's been down for quite some time. This is some parking lot or something. Cement. Rebar, I don't know, it could have been a foundation to the house. Some more remnants here. Sorry, there isn't any more interesting things than... I thought I'd find something here. What's over here? Huh. Some old truck tires, rims. Well, you got a old rusty chain link fence with a few strings of barbed wire. I don't know what's on the other side. Well, looks like I am in the inside. Um, we'll take a look around and see if there's anything worthwhile uh, talking about. But, uh, in the meantime, in the beginning of the video, the opening, I mentioned about my newsletter. It's a newsletter I throw out the first of every month, and it basically just gives an update of what I'm doing and, uh, you know, what updates are on the website. I do update the website every month. I put something up there just to keep, you know, the people that keep coming back uh, stimulated. If you'd like to subscribe to the newsletter I'll put a link below I'll put my email I don't know if YouTube uh, will allow that or I'll put the link to the contacts page of my uh, website and then you can click on that and uh, just send me a message hey I'm John Doe and I want to be on uh, your uh, mailing list for the newsletter uh, here's my email John Doe at gmail.com uh, so, uh, love to see you, and uh, I always get feedback on uh, what I post on my website. I post stories 
and you know photographs of places I've been like here and uh, you know stuff like that it's fun stuff so uh, hope you do so all right all right now back to the show all right so I looked this area up on Google Maps and the car only goes so far it doesn't go all the way to the end but I remember this area right here that uh, on Google Maps there's a wild turkey walking right there there it is see it that's a little blurry but you get the idea it's fun finding things on Google Maps now this is uh, this is pretty cool I just found back here let's go check it out it looks like a uh, oh, I gotta get over the fence uh, it's a playground Well, that was fun. I enjoyed it. Didn't get to see a whole lot. But sometimes uh, explorations are a little below your expectations. Do you hear it? It's a church. And a siren. Very pretty. So, uh... Let's get back on track here. If you uh, enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up on that, all right? And don't forget to subscribe to my forsakenly departed YouTube channel and ring the bell for notifications. You'll be the first to uh, know when I upload a video. And visit my website, of course, forsakenlydeparted.com. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna uh, listen to some more bells as I'm leaving. And uh, you all be well, everyone. Peace.